Hello, my little woolies. In today's tutorial, we are going to learn how to knit a nice version of the tiles stitch. There are many versions of this pattern. This one is special because it's so easy to do that it's perfect for beginners. It's a combination of knits and pearls. There are no increases nor decreases. It's reversible and identical on both sides. And what I like the most is that you don't need to think about adding edges because it doesn't curl. It's one of these patterns that lays flat no matter what. So you can knit a scarf, a blanket, an infinite cowl, and just bind off and wear it straight away. That's nice, isn't it? So grab your needles and let's get started. First of all, we need to cast on multiples of four plus two stitches. For example, four times four, 16, plus two, 18. If you want to have edge or salvage stitches, you need to add two stitches, the first and the last, to this count because it doesn't include the edge stitches. So first row, the so-called right side of the work. It doesn't matter because both sides are identical. So the repeat is. The repeat is what you will find between asterisks on the written instructions. Remember, you can find every pattern that I have shared with you on my website, sewwoolly.net. There is a link for you below this video on the description box. So the repeat is net to One, two, purl two, one, two. This is it. Let's do it again. Net two, one, two, purl two, one. And repeat, net two, one, two, purl two, one, two. If you have more stitches, keep repeating until there are only two stitches left, ending with net two, one. And when you get to the last one, I like to work it through the back loop, so knit it through the back loop. This way we can avoid a huge loop there. Second row. Start with purl two. We're going to work what we see. When you see the bumps, you know you have to purl. So, purl one, purl two. And now comes the repeat, the same as we did last row, net two, one, two, purl two, one, two, and repeat, net two, one, two, purl two, one, two, once more, net two, one, Two, purl two, one, two. Third row, as per row one, the repeat is net two, one, two, purl two, one. Two and repeat. Knit two, purl two, once more. Knit two, purl two. If you have more stitches, keep repeating until there are only two stitches left, ending with knit two. One, and two. It's 
like knitting, knitting a 2 by 2 rib stitch. Fourth row, Asper row 2, we start with purl 2, 1, 2, and now comes the repeat. You can see there is a column of V's and then two columns of purls. So knit 2, 1, 2, purl 2, 1, 2, and repeat. Net two, one, two, purl two, one, two. Once more, net two, purl two. If you have more stitches, keep repeating to the end. Now come the easiest part. We're going to need four rows. So this is row five. We knit every stitch. Row six. Again, net across or net every stitch. Row seven. Again, net across. And last row, row eight, the same, just knit every stitch. So that's it. These eight rows create the pattern. Repeat them until the desired length is reached. And when finished and for symmetry, we are going to bind off facing the wrong side of the work after a row three, working each stitch as it presents. If you don't know how to bind off working each stitch as it presents, I have a video tutorial for you, so watch to the end of this video and you will see it. Or it's also uh, on the description box. So that's it for today, my little woolly. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Thank you so much for watching. And please, if you like it, subscribe to the channel and turn on the notifications because sometimes YouTube don't tell you that I have published a new video. Happy knitting!